Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we're going to review the ellipse. So let's start our review by looking at the general form, the general equation of an ellipse. That takes the form of x minus h squared divided by a squared plus y minus k squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. Now please note that in order for the ellipse to be in the standard form that the right side must equal 1. Uh, the point hk on the other hand as it was in all the other general forms such as the circle and the parabola that represents the center of the ellipse. Now a is the the square root of the term that is below the x term in the general form equation and a is the distance that the that the ellipse uh, moves from the center right and left so if we have the term uh, say we have the center is located at h k then the rightmost point on the graph is going to be h plus a k and the leftmost point this is the right point and the leftmost point is going to be h minus a k so that's just how far uh, the ellipse uh, extends out from the center uh, to left and right now the the b term on the other hand is the square root of the term that is below the y term in the general equation and the b term represents how much the ellipse stretches in the up and down direction now once again if we're given hk is the center then the top most the top most point is going to be h k plus b and the bottom most point is going to be equal to h k minus b. So if we're given these terms, the a squared terms, if we're given the a squared term and the b squared term, uh, if we're given h and k, uh, then that's all we really need to graph the ellipse and determine uh, all the points on the ellipse. So let's quickly look at an example here. Uh, let's say that uh, we, we're given an equation, we're given an eclipse with the general, in the general form of x plus 2 squared divided by 9 plus y minus 4 squared divided by 25 is equal to 1. So what we want to do is find the rightmost, the leftmost, the top, and the bottommost points of this ellipse. So we're lucky because this is just in the standard form. We easily can see what, where h and k is or where the center is. And in this case, h is going to be equal to negative 2. And k is going to be equal to 4. So the center of the eclipse, hk, is located at negative 2, 4. And so what we want to do now is determine what a and b is. Now we know this term at the bottom below the x term is a squared, and we know this term below the y term is b squared. And so all we need to do is take the square roots to find out that a is going to equal to 3, and b is going to be equal to 5. So let's go ahead and uh, write this down. The right point, we want to find the left point, we want to find the top point and the bottom point of this ellipse. So all we need to do is know that the right point is going to be h plus a k. The left point is going to be h minus a plus k. The top point is going to be h k plus b. And the bottom is going to be h k minus b. So all we need to do is plug in our information and we find that um, h plus a, h is negative 2, a is 3, we're going to have 1 and we know k is 4 so the, the right point is going to be 1, 4. 
we have h minus a. h again is negative 2 and a is 3. So uh, we got negative 2 minus 3. We're going to get negative 5, 4. And then now we got uh, to find the top. And now we're dealing with the b term. And we know that h is going to be negative 2 and that uh, k is 4 and we want to add 5 to that so it's going to be negative 2 9 and now we want the bottom turn once again h is going to be negative 2 and we got b is equal to uh, 5 and we minus that from k so we get negative 1 we get that the rightmost point is 1 4 the leftmost point is negative 5 4 we got the top point at negative 2 9 and we have the bottom point at negative 2 negative 1 so that's it guys just a quick review on uh, how we can determine some of the information uh, if given an equation of ellipse if we're asked to find the center if we're asked to find some certain point on that ellipse uh, we know the general equation and we know how to find that information now. So if you guys have any more questions, don't hesitate to visit the site at engineeringtrainingexam.com where I continue to put up more information, more content to help you guys out. I can definitely use suggestions, though I, I know that uh, you know I've been through this process, but uh, the only way I can help you is if you tell me what you guys need. You know, I know, I know it's hard uh, sometimes to you know just uh, give you guys the information that you need and that's all I want to do so head on over there and contact me through the contact uh, page or go ahead and uh, sign up for my free EIT preparation boot camp and you can contact me through that mailer um, I'm always responding to emails every day uh, to every single question I get so don't hesitate to do that alright guys so take care tonight and uh, we'll talk soon alright <laughs> Oh